Hello and welcome to a new recipe video. There is no day that doesn't call for a cake. So today we're making an apple pie cake inspired by the one my grandma used to make. So let's just get right ahead into the recipe. Melt 300 grams coconut butter in a pan until liquid. Also add 50 grams dates to a food processor and pour in a little water. Blend until the dates are broken down. In a large bowl add 200 grams all-purpose flour and 100 grams whole grain flour together with 50 grams stevia, the date paste, 4 teaspoons baking powder, 120 milliliters plant milk. I added more later on so don't get confused. Some drops vanilla flavor and the molten coconut butter. Stir and knead until you get a non-sticky dough. Leave it in the fridge for a while. For the filling, cut up three apples into thin slices. In a bowl, sprinkle 40 grams date sugar on top, along with one tablespoon cinnamon and one tablespoon tapioca starch. For the best flavor, also add the juice of half a lemon. Stir so that every apple slice is somewhat covered. I line my cake form with baking paper, like that. If you cut your cake, the form will stay intact and it's easier to remove the cake as well. Take your dough out of the fridge and separate one third. Keep this for later. Roll out the remaining two thirds. Don't worry if it isn't perfect. You can use a rolling pin to get your dough into the form or you could also just take the whole dough ball and press it into the form like that. Make sure the whole sides are covered as well and no dough is sticking out on top. Take the apple slices and layer them until your form is full. I also added some dried blueberries, but raisins or other dried fruit is amazing as well. Also roll out the remaining dough and cut it into strips. Lay this out on your pie. You can kind of weave it, but you really don't have to. Use the last stripes to go all the way around the cake. Drizzle some plant milk on top to give the crust that brown color when baking. Speaking of baking, preheat the oven to 180 degrees and bake the pie for about an hour, then let it cool for another hour or so. Such a nice apple pie and there's like literally nothing you can't veganize so if you have something you struggle with just let me know I'm gonna make a vegan recipe out of it and yeah I'm gonna enjoy a piece of this delicious pie now and thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy your day and keep up those vegan positive vibes and I will see you again next time here on my channel